we'll do a quick revision of the indeterminate forms see infinity minus infinity is also an indeterminate form we all know that these these two are indeterminate forms everyone knows uh, what about infinity minus infinity we're tempted to say that why isn't this zero but that's not true because some infinities may be larger than other infinities it's an interesting statement I would request you to go type this exact statement on Google and see what articles you're getting. It's a very interesting read. Why some infinities are greater than other infinities. Okay. So if you're not sure which one is great, greater, it can some, sometimes this can be a negative number. Sometimes this can be a positive number. Sometimes it can be exactly zero when both the infinities are exactly the same, but that's very rare. If we can't determine a specific value, that means this is an indeterminate form, as simple as that. And then there are other indeterminate forms, zero to the power zero. This is also an indeterminate form. Uh, there's something else, zero multiplied by infinity. Let me uh, erase all this. So one thing to note here is that when we talk about expressions like these, this is something tending to zero. It's not exactly zero. If it were exactly zero, then zero multiplied by infinity would have been zero. But this zero is not exactly zero okay this quantity is something very 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 close to zero so now what do we have here we have something very 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 small and then that is multiplied by something very 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 large if we multiply these two quantities we might get a constant a measurable number okay or we can even get a very very small number or we can even get another infinity again this is also indeterminate all right so before we proceed further let's quickly take a look at the different indeterminate forms that are there infinity upon infinity we all have seen this kind of uh, indeterminate form before uh, zero upon zero something tending to zero that is something very very small upon something very very small it's indeterminate infinity minus infinity is also indeterminate with zero to the power zero that means something very very small to the power something very very small what's it going to be no one knows no one knows the exact value yeah. similarly we have something very very small multiplied by something very very large it's also indeterminate infinity to the power zero one to the power infinity okay now you would be tempted to say that why not one to the power infinity is one because one to the power anything is one isn't it you're right if it were exact one if this one was an exact one then you would have been correct. But all these values that you see, you know, all these values that you see here, these are not exact values. These are values tending to those numbers. So in a sense, one to the power infinity means here one to the power infinity is actually something very, very close something close to one infinitesimally close to one to the power infinity that's what this is okay that's what this is so something close to one to the power infinity now look at this it can be 1.00001 to the power infinity now this will make this thing infinity Okay, that small point one thing, because we are raising it to the power infinity. 
But if we have something like this, 0 0.9999999 to the power infinity, then this thing will tend to zero because it's a fraction. If you raise it to the power, eventually the denominator will keep uh, blowing up and the entire thing will become smaller and smaller and tend to zero. So see, sometimes we're getting zero, sometimes we're getting infinity, sometimes we might get some finite numbers as well. That's why this is an indeterminate form.